They switch over to thunder. <laughs> that crits me! Oh my, here we go. Here we go. Now this is the part of the game where I get mad. Good afternoon, Pokemon Sports. Welcome to the VGC Battle Sim Regulation G video. Bringing you EVs. Only EVs. Nothing out of the ordinary. Nothing strange to see here. I got a bunch of evolutions on the same team. We got Leafeon, Vaporeon, Sylveon, Jolteon, Umbreon, and Karideon. Now, in today's video, we will only be using EVs and we will be trying to win in Regulation G ladder with only EVs. Now, if you guys are wondering what each of these EVs do, we got Karideon, which sets the sun, has clear amulet, collision course, flare blitz, scale shot, and protect with the fairy terra. Because the sun is up, Leafeon gets chlorophyll, life orb boost, plus the solar blade is always like only a turn and not two turns in sun, so that's always nice. We have Fire Terror with Terror Blast and Knock Off as well for some more coverage. Detect, of course, because why not? Jolteon's here kind of has our speed control and our switching into the Vaporeon. Speaking of Vaporeon, we also have Water Absorb on Vaporeon. So with Water Absorb and Fire Terror, we're able to sit in front of a bunch of, you know, Water Pokemon, Grass Pokemon, and even opposing Fire Pokemon and not care. We have all of the options because Things like Bundle can't Hydro Pump us, and then with Fire Terra, they can't Ice ice Move us. Things like Incin with Fire Terra can't hurt us. And then things like Grass Pokemon can't hurt us either. And since we're Fire Terra, Water Pokemon can't hurt us. So it's a, it's a nice little answer to the Grass Water Fire Core. You essentially take that Rock, Paper, Scissors shoot game of the Grass Water Fire Core, and then you just sla slam it with a boulder because you win. Like, they can't touch you. So I think that's kind of cool with Vaporeon. We sit there, we Calm Mind, we Scald, we wish it all back with lefties and Protect, and then we just be a nuisance on the field. Umbreon helps with that, too. They can also Snarl, Wish, and Protect, and then just have the added benefit of just being absolutely stupidly tanky. And then last but not least, we have Sylveon as our special attacking damage with Hyper Voice, with Pixelate, with Terra Blast, and Helping Hand, holding the Fire Terra as well, just so, so that we can have that little bit of Sun Boost. We have a lot of Fire Terras on this team, but it's going to be worth it in the end. Anyway... Thank you so much, Harold VGC, not Harold VGC, Harold HD, and then Viking VGC for going ahead and posting this team on the Poke Sports Discord. I'm excited to play nothing but EVs. Why the heck not? And see how far it takes us in the Regulation G ladder this far into the into the meta game. Do I have expectations? Yes, yes I do, because both Harold HD and Viking VGC told me multiple times, Kevin, you have to try this team. Kevin, this team's really good. Kevin, this team's goaded. And a lot of people said they played it and they enjoyed it and they got far with it in actual live events. So let's see, you know, let's try. Hopefully I could have the same results in today's video. Anyway, if you guys are excited to see the EVs in action, hit the like button down below, subscribe to Pokesports if you haven't done so already. Oh wait, that's that. Let's get on through today's video. Up against Ogre, Nigel, rocking Ogre, Ogre Pond. Double Ogre team, plus a Blurse and a Tailwind, okay. Yeah, they're gonna outspeed me. There's not much I can do about it. I think I definitely want Vaporeon somewhere in here and Leafeon somewhere in here. I don't know if I should lead Leafeon or not, though. I'm thinking probably not. Definitely Vaporeon. What if I go Vaporeon, Jolteon? Have Karidon, Leafeon in the back. I think that's all the Pokemon I need. Now, here's the thing. I have Water Absorb with Fire Terra. So I can make it around that Ogre with Vaporeon, believe it or not. Especially if I set Sun and just kind of ruin the Ogre's damage output. They're going to lead Torn Ogre, not wasting a single second out here. But you know what? Neither am I. We T-Wave, we Calm Mind. I am not worried about this Ogre right now. Like, maybe you thunder me? No, it's screwed. I'm gonna fire terror right now. Because I know my terrestrialization is gonna be my... My Vaporeon on this game. I know that for a fact. So burn it now. Set up a Calm Mind, burn it now. Look at me, I am a fish dog. Look at me, swim. Alright, there's a Tailwind. Keeping it nice and simple on my opponent's side of the field. Nothing too fancy. They're gonna Water Spout. Well, that's not gonna work on me. It'll work on my Jolteon, but that's what Sashes are for. Hello, it's me. I'm Jolteon. I have a Sash. Look at me go. E-Web. 
great damage on a torn. An ogre. Unless you can respond. I'm clicking calm mines, buddy. You better prepare yourself. They might have taunt here, so I don't want to do it again. So I'm just going to scald the torn and hit protect. Yeah, that's fine. Again, the ogre doesn't pose a threat to me at all. Okay, no, they're just clicking bleak wind. Fair enough. Yep, that's not cutting it, though. No damage on the Vaporeon. They switch over to Thunder. <laughs> that crits me! Oh my, here we go. Here we go. Now this is the part of the game where I get mad. Oh. That shouldn't have done that much. It really shouldn't have. This is bad. Okay. I can swap in the sun. I protect this turn. Which at least force the ogre out. Let's get our karate on in here. Hello, look at me. I am Dragon. Oricock compulses up. Get rid of this weather. Let's protect for some lefties recovery while we're here. Uh, but it looks like we're gonna have to swap this Vaporeon out. Yeah, they're just going for a cudgel there. They predicted that they went for Ice Beam. Listen, my opponent's gaming. I'll give it to them, they're gaming. That's a fact. Now, will they cudgel again? Most likely. I'm going to Jolteon swap. And then just hit Protect. We stall out this Tailwind. Our Coridon has to be the fastest thing on the field right now. They're not swapping out their Ogre yet. Which is wild. Maybe they just want to take advantage of the last turn of their Tailwind. Alright, they have you cudgel my 1 HP. Jolteon, fair. Okay, um, I'm trying. I sure am. As the ice beam again, okay. The tailwind will peter now. Let me get Leafeon on the field to put pressure on the ogre. And instead of attacking the ogre, I think I doubled down into this ogre pawn. This puts a lot of pressure on the ogre. I might even force the tear here. Wow, no. I don't force anything. They just give me their ogre pawn. Okay. Alright, which one of the two are the ice beaming? The the Leafeon or the restricted Pokemon? <laughs> I sure do wonder which one they're ice beaming. This does mean I lock in the weather though, which is nice for us. The weather's locked on sun because they can't swap the ogre anymore. They got no more swaps. Hold on, they chose the Leafeon? Fine! Bye, Leafeon! Thanks for coming! <laughs> okay, hold the phone. Game's not over. It's close to over, but it's not there yet. Ensign, I'm protecting. I lose nothing by double protecting here. I double protect. I collision course the Ensign when I can. Well, we'll see if they terastalize something. Did they terastalize already? No, they didn't. They're still holding it. I wonder why. I wonder why. Okay. They're still holding it again. Are they ghost on Ensign, man? If they're ghost on Ensign, that could lose me the game. I think no matter what I do next turn, I have to all in this Kyogre, though. Like, screw the Ensign. Who cares about Ensign? They're going to try to go for the raw Thunders. That's a 50 base accurate Thunder that they're trying to go for. 
All right, I wish Vaporeon this turn. And I collision course the ogre. Yeah, that is my win con. Please. Thank goodness it's enough. All right. Ogre's dealt with. We're going there, man. I don't know how instant beats my Vaporeon, especially after I click Wish here. And what is their Terra? They refuse to click it. It must just not help them if they're refusing it this badly. All right, they knock off my lefties, which sucks. But I'm just going to protect for this Wish now. And I guess I'll Collision Course. They, they could still terrestrialize. They haven't clicked it yet. So if they whip out the Ghost Terra now, I'll be surprised. If they had it this whole time, they didn't click it in front of a collision course. So that's so brave coming out of my opponent. But they did Ice Beam into the Crydon slot, predicting the swap in. So they're not a bad player. They had it the whole time. Wow. Okay. Fine, dude. Kudos to my opponent for, like, really holding that terror until literally the opportune time they needed to. They knock off Crydon. Thankfully, that doesn't do too much. All right. We just switch over to Flare Blitz now. It's fine. We Flare Blitz, we Scald. If this is a knockoff only instant, I think we're fine. Or should I scale shot? Scale shot might do more. No, I'd rather just knock myself out in Flare Blitz. Well, if that's the case, I'm going to wish again. Let me wish again. Then Flare Blitz, then Protect. Let me be full HP when I'm fighting the Scald War here at the end of the game. All right, Instant actually eats that well. I'm going to knock my own Karadon out. It's going to be Instant versus Vaporeon. Let's do it, man. They can't Willow me, which is good news. Oh, they do have Flare Blitz, but that also won't do a lot. We protect. We keep it nice and simple, baby. We do not overthink. We had to work hard enough to get this far with Eevees, man. We worked so hard to get this far. A parting shot. Oh, that's a good play. That parting shot might come in handy for them later. If they, if they can, like, essentially weaken me to the point where I'm not doing damage. Oh, then I just rely on a Scald Burn, right? Let's actually start attacking now. It's funny that Vaporeon is on a Sun team. Doesn't really care because it'll, uh, it'll outlast the Sun almost every single time. Oh, that Scald is doing great damage. Nice little crit there. And the burn. GG's. They can't win. Woo! All right. That's what we needed. Knockoff's not cutting it, bud. Sorry. And I don't want to be that guy. But I'm going to be that guy. I'm sorry. Yeah, okay. They realized what I was about to do. I'm just going to click protect for burn turns at that point. I have to go for the wave con. I'm sorry, Nigel. GG's, though. That's a nice spell sprout you got. On to the next. Yikes, man. That's a lot of Quark Drive users and Tailwind setters. And Trick Rumors. Oh my goodness. My opponent's team has it all, unfortunately. Uh, Vaporeon's great here into Bundle specifically. To the point where I think I do the same lead as Game 1. I go Jolteon, Vaporeon, bring our Karadon in the back for sure. And then how do we defeat Maridon? A hard one. It's a hard. It's a hard choice right there. What's my Terra Blast? Fire. Okay. I'm gonna go Leafeon. I'm going same four. I'm going same four there. Um, if they lead Maridon in the lead, I might be in some trouble with Vaporeon. Maybe what I could have done is have Jolteon in the back, so I have a potential switch in to the Maridon. And then just kind of burn a turn there of like an Electro Drift or something. 
It's all right. I'm going to fire Terra turn one anyway. Fire Terra turn one is probably my best option regardless. Maybe set up a combine, see if I can live. Bundle and Maraida. Yeah, I got to I got to fire Terra turn one and see what I could do here. I think they definitely go for Vaporeon turn one. They might even double into Vaporeon turn one. I got to pray. I got a Fire Terra Calm Mind here. And I got an E-Web. And hope that Jolteon makes it through with Focus Sash and all. My poor Vaporeon's about to get blown up by this Maridon, dude. It's about to suffer so much damage, and there's very little that I could do about it. Yo, wish me luck, man. I'm playing EVs, man. Go easy on me. I'm playing EVs. All right. Fire Terra. The bundle at least can't touch me right now. That Icy Wind is a problem. Because it means this is pointless what I'm doing here with Electro Web. I was trying to get a speed advantage on them. Oh my goodness. Brother. Holy. I can't compete with that damage. What the heck? Maybe I shouldn't have calm minded. Okay, I'm playing Vaporeon. Okay, what is what's the next here? I just try to e-web again, right? Uh, that's all I got. They don't knock out a bundle for what it's worth. I hope this Coridon's max speed. I don't actually know. I'm gonna check the paste. Because if it is, I might have a chance here. Because I just e-web. Oh, yeah. I mean, I just e-web them, so I will have a chance. It's not max speed. I am adamant, but they just got e-webbed, so we're fine there. We're getting Icy Winded again. We should eat one more, though. They Dracoed me. Dude, relax. Relax. They made themselves negative two now. Hold on. My plus one Vaporeon might actually live now. Yeah, let's bring in Crydon. Let's have a little bit of faith here. I'm pretty much making them choose. Like, do you want to attack the Vaporeon or the Crydon? Uh, you can pick, friend. I'll let you pick. I'm going to wish and protect. They were E-webbed. On the bundle slot at least once. I think exactly once. Maybe I outspeed Coridon. Probably not, though. I'm going to try to play like I do. I mean, listen, you made yourself negative, too. I'm just saying. It means they're also not specs. They got to focus down my Coridon. Or else I just take their Maridon for free. Which means this should be a free wish. I can maybe get my Vaporeon back in this game. They're going to stick to Icy Winds. Are they Specs onto this, maybe? Probably, right? They pour on Avoids. So that's always nice. They Volt Switch. We live at 19, baby! Okay. Woo! Still gaming, still gaming, still gaming, still gaming. Um. Entei. It's another Pokemon that can't touch me, at least. Let's wish it back up. Wish with lefties plus protect. Yeah. Definitely the play I'm about to do. Protect. I'm going to scale shot bundle to get the speed boost that I need to outspeed the Coridon. I mean the, the Maridon. Once they swap it back in. Do 
to go for the A speed? Maybe some other time, dude. <laughs> Maybe some other time. They switch over to freeze dry. I should take one. All right, nice. Scale shot. Okay. We now outspeed their Maridon. But now they also have E speed for our Coridon, and our defense just fell. That's bad. <laughs> That's real bad. Um. Yeah, dang, that sucks. That stupid E speed on our defense drop is not a fun time. Um. They probably do 75 damage to my Coridon. I do have some HP investment and some defense investment. I don't think it's enough, though. Let me just Scald Entei and hit Protect for now. I don't know how much my Scald is going to do in the sun. I feel like Scald should be a move that does more damage in the sun. The same thing as, like, Hydro Steam. I got a normal Terra that I used to be just to make sure they knock me. Oh! No, they're not. All right. They're going to go Fairy. Okay, so I go Flare Blitz is what you're saying. Thank you. We protect. Wow, they e-speeded my Vaporeon? They protected the protect! GG's, I lose. Ah, they saw their opportunity. That was the one opportunity they had to get rid of my Vaporeon. They took it. They took it. Wow. I could have won if I attacked Coridon here. I definitely could have won if I attacked Coridon. If I attacked with Coridon. Look at me dropping the ball. Oh, kudos to my opponent for playing this one, though. They played very, very well. You can't be mad at good players. They made the right decision in all the right places. So now my Coridon's about to get e-speeded. Or not. Hold on, they're giving me a chance. I don't knock it out with Solar Blade, I don't think. It's a Leafeon, let's be honest. Yeah. I do double out speed though, so that's always nice. I don't knock out either one here. They go for the Draco, they hit the Draco. Okay. And now I'm dying to a Sacred Fire, is what you're saying. <laughs> GG's, man. E Eevee Lucian's gonna win this game. This is, a lot, this is a lot harder than last one, man. This is a lot harder than last one. Okay. <laughs> this poor Leafeon burning. <laughs> Burning through the sacred fire of the Ho-Oh. Destroying my face. Okay, Thedu, good job. You beat Eevees. <laughs> this is why I love this team. I can just blame it on the team afterwards. No, we tried our best there. I think I think if we attacked with Coridon, uh predicting a Terra on the Maridon, that would have been that, that would have been the pivotal turn. Absolutely would have been the pivotal turn. Or if we double that Entei that turn, that would have been even better. GG's though. Up against Groudon and Hisuian Zoroar. All right. I got Tailwind against me. That kind of sucks. But you know what? At least I know the sun is going to be up this game. That's really good news. As for what they want to do to me, they do have a lot of Intimidates on their side of the field. Uh, I can maybe bring Jolteon, but against the Groudon, it's kind of iffy. I could also just lead Coridon and lead Leafeon and just see where the game takes me. But then I have to worry about like a potential instant lead. How's about this? We go Coridon Sylveon right away. That covers us for a lot, actually. Bring Leafeon in the back and then Umbreon in the far back. No, just Vaporeon. Then we're at least able to switch into that Hydro Steam. That might mess them up a little bit. I think we'll do that. 
This could be a scary last game. It's been a while since I played against a, a Groudon. But overall, I think... Yeah. I think we could win against the Groudon. Groudon typically does fine against Groudon. They're leading it right away, too. Listen, so am I. We're both doing it. Now... What do they do about it? How about I click Protect? And then just throw a hybrid voice at them for turn one. The next turn, I might just helping hand and see what my Karadon can do. They just go for P Blades. Oh, they're scarfed. They're scarfed P Blades. Okay. Okay. That's why I don't use P Blades. And Willow. Willow Torn? Dude. Yeah, I got a swap. That's a fact. Oh. Oh, yeah. Never mind. <laughs> I, I I was about to say, I didn't even know Torn can get that. I didn't know that was a possibility. All right, I know I'm faster than Zoroark, though. With Coridon. Wait, maybe not this one, though. There's no way they do it again. I'm going to Collision Course... I'm just going to hyper voice again. I'm just going to keep yelling at them with Sylveon. All right, there's another P-Blades. Does double connect this time. Not knocking out either one. Here's a collision course. Should not got the grout on. More than enough damage. Ooh, okay. The hyper voice does, though. They get the willow off. Fine. I'm surprised they actually went for it again, honestly. This is a pretty fair trade. I'm taking the restricted from them. And I know they have a Tornadus in the back now. But the fact that I'm taking their Scarf Restricted from them, and I didn't have to burn Terra to do it, still feels like the right play. And I'm keeping my Restricted. I'm just doing less damage with it. All right. We're, we're, we're in a pretty decent spot, I think. We're just Hyper Voice again. Or Protect. Depends on what they bring out. Torn and a friend. Who's their friend? Ape. Oh boy. Let's light the world on fire. And then just hit detect. I gotta be careful with this ape. This ape might be able to win the game for them. So I gotta take this nice and slow, nice and steady. Oh, they're just attacking. Free Flare Blitz in the sun still does a lot of hurts, if, even though I'm burnt. All right, they're just bleak winding me. Maybe a bleak wind plus a bulk up is their play. All right, Karadon's dropping. My strongest evolution is dropping. Karadion. Bye, Karadion. Yeah, they're bulking up. Okay. It causes some issues. I'm just gonna go into Leafeon and finish off a Torn. Leafeon, the best buddy. Let's finish off their Torn. Does Solar Blade have a high crit chance? No. Does anything I have high have a high crit chance? No. Alright, let's just knock off the Torn. See if they let me hyper voice them, I don't know. <laughs> Alright, got rid of their Torn. Wait, they never Tailwinded! Really? They never Tailwinded, not even once. Knocking off the Cover Cloak too. Oh, you're trolling now, buddy! Did you think I wasn't gonna hyper voice? Why wouldn't I? Hyper Voice plus one? Get out of town. What? Disrespect my evolutions like that? You can't be disrespecting my evolutions. Okay, taking two wins, one loss in today's video. Listen, VGC is a two-player game. That's all I got to say.
It's a two-player game, and sometimes your opponents do that, so I don't mind whatsoever. <laughs> All right, Harold HD and Viking VGC, thank you so much for going ahead and making this Evolution teams with only Evolutions, no other Pokemon involved, no other restricteds involved, only Evolutions and the best kind of Evolutions. We have the best Grasswater Fire Core, we have the Vaporeon, the um, Coridon, and the Grasswater Fire Leafeon. Sorry, there's so many eons that I just forget them all. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching to the, to the very end of the video. Make sure to check out Harold and Viking in the description and have yourselves a fabulous rest of your night. If you enjoyed today's video, hit a like on your way out. I'll cut the Sports. Peace out and bye bye.